Now just up above the property here, climbing the hill. Uh, the neighbor had his excavator over the other day, and so he was uh, cutting some trails up. So just up here with Sala, checking out what he did. Sala's having a great time. Our neighbor has some grandkids, and they want to make some four-wheeler trailers up here for them to come play around with. So just checking out the progress. I don't know if you can see the tractor tucked away up in there, but um, decided to have some fun in the uh, in the road building here. So uh, there is an old skid road that goes up that way, and uh, just trying to connect into that because I know it, it gets pretty steep, but it cuts along that bank and zigzags back and forth. So uh, gonna see if we can get cut into it. Well, did a little bit of clearing up top. Uh, got pretty steep on that skid road, so uh, that's uh, more excavator work than uh, a wheeled tractor. So uh, I know my limits. I didn't push it. I'm um, leaving the brush hog on for a little bit. We got uh, some clearing to do over by the garden and uh, a few more things around here. Plus the grass is about ready to start growing. So I think we're gonna leave that on for now. Today is going to be kind of a mix of this and a mix of that. We're doing a bunch of outside work today. Uh, need to get out of the house and enjoy some of this beautiful weather. So I'm going to be working on clearing some more brush. Dee Dee's working on uh, filling some garden beds. She's making some garden beds uh, in the expanded garden. So uh, just working on a little bit of this and a little bit of that today. We'll see what we get done. Reinforcements have arrived. What, what? <laughs> Dee Dee's here to help. <laughs> she's, been, she's been busy up top. I heard her running around doing stuff up there. Yeah, so I dug out where the drainage ditch is, that bank that needed to be pulled back basically to where the ditch is. Uh -huh. So I pulled that all back um, and then kind of leveled it out because we're going to have an approach there to go into the pole barn. And then next to the pole barn, there was an approach up to that side. And, um, it was really narrow though and it was really like wonky and wobbly so I widened that a bunch and then I flattened it out. So now there's a nice wide approach up onto that flat spot next to the pole barn. Nice. So and then I leveled out a little bit of that flat spot. There's a bunch to do still but I um, wanted to come down and just check on you and see what you were up to. So now I'm going to come help you on this project. <laughs> Guys, that's where we were working earlier, uh, getting the logs and stumps out of the way there. Uh, we got a fairly level area cut down uh, this way to where we can put a couple logs across the creek and uh, make a little bridge to, to get back and forth to that chunk of the property. So overall went pretty well. We got 
quite a bit cleared over on this side, just the real nasty scrubby stuff and uh, left all the good healthy trees so they can uh, thrive and not have all those little suckers uh, feeding off of them. So it's a little nicer, you can see up the creek a little better um, and a little bit of sunshine will get down here. Uh, not much, but a little bit will get down to the forest floor. Then we wanted to come out and see what was going on. He usually does, he's pretty nosy. That saying, curiosity killed the cat, was made up because of Finley. He's <laughs> like covered in sawdust. So I see you're landscaping, raking the rocks out. Yes, yes I am. And that's all I have to say about that. We have no shortage of rocks. No, we could build a house. We should've just built a house out of rocks. It'd be like a nice little stone cottage. Good morning everyone. We are headed up to some families. Um, they're going to give us a couch and a love seat. No, couch and a recliner to, uh, to put in the cabin. So that's a pretty good score for us. We were just getting ready to look for that um, to fill up the living room. So we're going to go get it. <laughs> we're going to go get it. So we got the, the canopy off the truck and got it unloaded. So we're going to head up and uh, go snag some furniture for the cabin. And just like that, eight hours later, have some furniture. All right, we've got a couch and a recliner. Big thanks to my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law um, for giving us those. So thank you very much. Appreciate that. Well, just kind of tinkering around today after work. Uh, slapped together a quick cold bed for Dee Dee for her starts as they get a little taller. Uh, just made that out of scrap two by sixes from the bone yard. So, um, using uh, fencing staples as the hinge over the cattle panel, and uh, you just flop it open, put some plastic on it, and uh, you got a cold. Nice. Uh, I think it's called a cold bed. I don't know. That's Dee Dee's territory. quite a bit so Dee Dee took it all apart uh, cleaned it all up and she's making dinner now so I'm gonna see if I can put it back together and hopefully not have any leftover screws all back together no leftover screws I'm happy let's go put it in make sure it still works man it was a beautiful day today blue sky got up to almost 80 um, went and built Dee Dee a, I think it's called a cold frame although it's like a hot house so I don't know the terminology on that but when built that after work, Dee Dee and I hopped down to the creek, took a quick dip in there, and that uh, is still definitely uh, ice water runoff from the uh, from the mountains. So, <laughs> just mixing up some chainsaw oil now. Uh, ran out the other day, so mixing up a fresh batch of that and sharpening the chain and uh, get things ready uh, ready to go for the next time I can work on the the bridge down there beautiful afternoon right now I'm loving it right now sun's starting to go down but it's the perfect temperature it's probably 65 60 degrees beautiful right now loving it 